Hey everybody, how are you guys doing on today? Happy Thursday to you all. I believe my camera, my laptop is much better for picking up the sound. Um, I pray you guys are doing well on today. And I mentioned the sound because on my video that I made when I was doing my banana pudding, you guys could hear. I'll talk about that in a minute, but I just want to say hello, guys. I'm on here because I want to, uh, you know, just... Uh, uh, show you guys that I'm getting my things together for my transitioning of my food gift baskets for the holidays. And um, I just wanted to, sh you know, just show you what I'm stocking up on and things that I've had that I got from last year and some things that I picked up from Dollar Tree and, um, you know, just on here, I have a whole bunch of stuff. And plus I will be doing my, um, my wrapping and my bowing of my Christmas theme movie night baskets. I was going to do it all in this video, but it's going to be much too long. So I just said, let me do, you know, this here and then I'll do the, the, the wrapping and the bowing with the other, with another video guys, cause I want to keep you on, on here like an hour or so. Okay. So, um, I think you guys are doing well on today, guys. We have an amazing day on today, guys. It's really nice, sunny and warm and a little breezy, um, but it's still nice. It's a nice day. And I pray that you guys are having a nice day wherever you are on today, guys. And um, as I said, I'm just on here, guys, to show you guys a few things. But let me just go back to that last video, guys, because I think, what, yeah, that was my last video when I did, when I was doing my, my bacon cooking segment, whatever you want to call it, you know, for my channel. Because again, guys, my channel has three components. It is gift designs, love of baking, and inspiration. Whatever that inspiration is, that's what's going to be. Sometimes you'll see ministry on this channel, guys. Don't, don't turn the channel. Just either fast forward, you know, go to another video, or, you know, just put a quarter in the meter, park, and then, you know, check out whatever's going on. And um, that's that's what my, um, my channel is about, guys. And I think I'm going to do my... Um, I think what do they call it the banner on on the channel i think i'm gonna do that a little differently so people can see right up front too as well that these are the three components because when you look at the channel itself i don't because it's not stretched out all the way you know where you can see the inspiration part you know on the um you know the title of the um you know of our, of this channel so I'm, i think i'm gonna do a different kind of banner but that's what this channel is about guys and um i was gonna say something i just lost and something in my mind I was going to say just went clean up the window. But let me, I have to, hold on for a minute. I got to write something down. Hold on. Gosh, you know, when you, when you go through menopause, you got to be quick with your thoughts. Just as bad as I put you guys on, let me pause you for a minute. Let me write down. Oh, just went right out the, went, this is a different thought than the thought that I was just going to say something to you about. This is another thought <laughs> that came to me. And I said, oh, let me write this down real bad. As soon as I put you on hold, I got ready to write, I was like, I just came right, right. Okay, maybe we'll come back to later on, guys. But I tell you, I tell you, you know, getting a little bit older and, you know, going through, you know, like blaming on menopause, you know, because that, that's the only thing I can blame it on because I used to remember stuff. I ain't had to write stuff. Gotta write it down. Gotta write it down. So, anyway, I want to go to, um, I want to talk about uh, just real quickly about the when I was doing the banana pudding guys that my my for some reason this laptop this particular laptop laptop that I got um, I think I got well don't matter when I got it I just maybe got it last year and um, I have to turn it if I turn it off to the side a little bit because I was trying to capture the countertop everything on the countertop but I had to turn it a little bit so it was away from my voice just slightly. Couldn't make out what I was saying. It was just going in and out. And I, it didn't dawn on me that, because I always had to remember that. But see, I don't always use my laptop. So I'm not thinking that. But for now on, I'm going to make sure, like right now, you know, I tested it. And um, also I had to do some updates to make sure everything was, you know, meeting up to the, the status of the updates, you know. So, it, you know, everything is coming in loud and clear. But I want to apologize because I was saying some stuff. I was saying some stuff on that video. And I was like, what? world and plus the recipe maybe i'll leave um nobody's left in the comments that, that they were interested in the recipe so um maybe maybe i'm not maybe not i will put the uh recipe to the banana put in, in, on my community page but i said i was saying some stuff on that in that video i was so like what in the world what in the world and um 
you know, I got a couple people saying, you know, we can't hear. I'm like, <laughs> did you read it in the comment? Did you read the caption up there? Uh, or the title? I thought it was funny. No, I, I'm not making fun. I just thought it was funny because I was like, I put it in the title right there. You know, to bring your earphones into the, bring your earphones into the kitchen because I got sound issues on the deck. But let me just recap. I'm sorry, I'm I broke one of my nails here. Um, just let me go through a recap real fast on that on that last video because I was talking about. Um, I, I did that video, I think, on Sunday. And Saturday night before, Still Classy had, uh, that was the first time, or the second time I actually caught her on live. Thank God for the nighttime lives because, I, you know, it's kind of hard catching them during the day when, when um, you know, for me, for me on my end, you know, because I'm busy during the day. And um, I try to tap in and I said, if I know I tap in, I'm going to sit down and that's going to be it. So um, I do try to catch up some point at some point, whether it be that day or in another day to, to chime into um, any other live videos. But I was so glad to see Still Classy. That was the second time that I caught her live. She had an amazing video, guys. That's what I was saying on my, when, when I was doing the banana pudding, you know, that, um, the night before, she had she had an amazing video on about some gifts that she was doing, some Dollar Tree items um, and some items I think she got from Rose for a dollar, I think. But I think it was entitled Dollar Tree, like Dollar Tree. I was at Dollar Tree. If, if Still Classy is looking at um, this video, I'm so mad at myself. I'm going to be going back out tomorrow. But I was at Dollar Tree yesterday and I was so focused in, in what I needed to get. You know what I had on my list. As soon as I got home, I said, "Damn on it!" I didn't look for those socks. She has some cute, cute flat gifts with some candy, like geared towards the teenagers. You know, with a pair of socks. You know, um, I'm just going to direct you back to her life from last Saturday. Um, let me see what the date was. Well, last Saturday, guys. Today is the 17th, and last Saturday was the 13th. Okay, no, the 12th, and um, those gifts on there, everybody, we were just like, ooh, and owing, you know. It's amazing how some of the smallest gifts can make a big impact. Um, and I said, you know, in this video, I would take those two. I would see if I can get into the to the junior, to the high schools, the junior high schools, with those type of gifts that she had with the socks and the candy. I said, they need to sell out real fast on lunch break. <laughs> high school student schools or in the junior highs they would sell out it or if they're having some kind of bazaar or if they're having some kind of um you know some sort of event where you could sell i would have a that's all i would have on my table it's just socks and candy because <laughs> even the adults i said i would want, i said if she was around here somewhere i would go over there and buy some of those because they were so amazing she had some cute cute gifts on on that channel and she just had some amazing small gifts so and also i just want to say you know i'm not sure she should be at a thousand right now because she was close to it on saturday and i was i was surprised it's still classy if you're looking at this i'm surprised to know that how can you be under a thousand with, with your channel you have a, a an amazing channel and i do agree you said something on there because it's something that goes on where i think youtube be pulling some of those Y'all didn't hear from me. Y'all didn't hear from me. This is just between me and you guys, okay? Um, Y'all didn't hear from me. But I think something goes on with YouTube where they pull it back because I've seen my channel do that too. I was like, how I get, like one day I'm here, the next day it's like I'm, I'm declined back, you know, like five or ten people. It's like, what happened? You know, so, but I'm surprised. I was surprised that um, Still Classic was so, you know, a little below um, 1,000. I think she should be at 1,000, guys. And even though she's above 1,000, go over and check out her channel and give her a uh, subscribe to her channel. And I promise you, if you go to that channel, you know, you will see some really, really nice thing. Her title suits it all. Still Classy because she does some classy things on there. She has a lot of high-end gifts. And um, that's what I like for like when it comes to gift, gift designs, too. And so I also listen, um, I also mentioned um, Trinka because... Um, was that Sunday or was that Monday? No, it was Sunday. Okay, see, Trinka came on Sunday. I don't think I ever caught her or anybody on the live because I'm usually doing other things on Sunday. But I caught her live, um, her, um, I think it was the Praise Break um, segment. And um, she was talking about, you know, abuse. 
um, and things that she's, you know, that she was sharing that happened in her life, which um, I can relate to a lot of what she said because I had a loved one that has gone through the very thing that she was talking about. It's very, very hard. And so I was just telling you guys that I was in the middle of doing the, the banana pudding and I had to wait to let my, my custard cool down. So in the meantime, I thought I was going to go back and do the dishes and clean up and do whatever for the next hour while I was waiting for my banana pudding, um, my banana pudding uh, custard to cool down. And then she came on and I said, oh, okay, you know, I'll put her on as I'm going. And then when she started talking, I just, I just sat down. <laughs> I sat down and I listened to her and I said, you know, um, just let you know that I have it was on her channel and I was listening to that particular video and if you want just go back you know and listen to that video a lot of interesting things a lot of people commenting um, sharing their experiences on the, the, the topic that she was talking about and I thought it was just an interesting interesting channel because guys a lot of times we are talking about things other than gift baskets you know if we're opening up about um, something before like I am right now before I even I'm getting over here guys I'm going to get over here in a few minutes um, about, you know, some things, you know, because we have real life just like everybody else, you know, you know, just like some of these, you see people on TV, these superstars and all these things, you think their life is pick and span and they, 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 they come on. I would like to be a fly on the wall and some, some of these, these people who, who, who are, you know, they're up there, you know, um, with being in their superstar status and all that kind of stuff where they, you know, whether they're superstars and that or whether they're in the White House or whether they're, you know, just well known, you know, for whatever they're doing, you know, um, you know, we all go through things. We all go through life status. And just because we, we're on this side of the camera don't mean that we don't go through anything. We probably go through more than you guys go through. <laughs> but anyway, I was just like, you know, catch that channel. I was saying that on, on my video when I was doing the video. You know, to catch her channel, you know, to go in right then and there, to go over to that channel because she was still on and got what we got with, with, my, with my computer. And, you know, just go and subscribe. She has a, a very nice channel. And I think she has another channel that she's, yeah, she does have another channel that she created. Um, uh, I think it's called Trinka's Journey to Healing. Um, yeah, she just started that channel. So, you know, just, you know, go over and, you know, subscribe to her channel, check her channel out. She's a gift basker and, you know, she does have a praise break in the afternoon, um, that she started doing not too long about what, okay. I just want to, it's been 12 minutes and guys, I hope you didn't go anywhere. Okay. Let's get started over here guys. Okay. Finally. Okay. Cause this is why I didn't want to do this video and the video with the gift basket. It was going to be well over an hour. So guys, let me first show you what I got, you know, because I'm transitioning over from, you know, doing, um, I don't want to say typical stuff. That's not what I mean, but, you know, just, you know, our, you know, with the, the, you know, with a lot of our other type of gift baskets, you know, or I'm not going to say ours. Okay. Let me just say me, because I believe I do a lot of same type of gift baskets in some sense, you know, um, when it comes to, you know, doing self care and personal care items and, you know, just, um, some things, um, that, you know, we're doing, I, I have a, a variety of things. I, sometimes my creativity can only take me to a certain place. And then I want to, um, do things that I truly have a bigger, bigger interest in. And that's the food desk guys, because I'm a, undercover foodie okay i watch myself when when i was younger i was i was i was a skinny mini i mean i can just dish it in but you know when you get older you, you can't do that and not that i wanted to do that it was just because i'm young we were young and dumb you know just sticking pizza and stuff all in our mouth but i and but i'm just going to say i've always been health conscious but when I was younger, I wasn't as health conscious as I should have been because, you know, when you're just a teenager, you're not thinking about that stuff. But as I got on my own and stuff, I was always a little health conscious. I didn't eat a lot of the things that my family ate. You know, I had a lot of Southern people in my family. My grandmother raised me up, you know, with collard greens and, you know, um, chitlins and all. I didn't eat chitlins, guys. I didn't eat that stuff. But um, and I'm not coming against anybody. If that's your thing, that's your thing, because they do a lot of different things with chitlins, but I just can't imagine eating it. Um, but, you know, stuff like that, you know, macaroni cheese and, you know, um, uh, roast beef and, you know, a lot of red meats and stuff. Even though I wasn't a red meat eater, I just always like um, certain things. But big long story short, guys, I'm just health conscious, 
you know, practically all my life, but I'm a foodie, guys. I, you know, I'm an undercover foodie and I watch myself and I have to especially watch myself now since I got older because you just can't eat like you used to. But my gift baskets, you know, I'm transitioning from a lot of the stuff that I was doing and bringing myself into food baskets for the holidays. And I'm going to be doing some other stuff too as well. I'm going to still be creating other stuff outside of that, but it's going to be more of this than what I have already been doing. It's going to be geared over to this direction, okay? So, um... Let me just show you what I got here. What I'm, what I've collected this far, and what I'm, what I've already had in my stock pot. So, guys, it's this time of year again. They were all over the shelves. You want to get you some of these, even if you don't do food baskets. Even if you don't do food baskets, guys. Let me see. I'm trying to line up right. Even if you don't do food baskets, these are just nice to tuck in as another. Uh, as an insert, you know, even if you're doing, you know, um, in particular for the holidays is what I'm saying. You can use these for any any gift, you know, but for the holidays, these are amazing. So guys, I was at Draw Tea yesterday and then when I was going down the aisle, looking for something else, my eyes were like, boy, they're here. So I picked me up a lot of these. These are really nice. These are the, um, and you get a lot of these in, in this box. I think you get about 12 pieces or something in here so it's nice you get five servings of two how much is two how much is two times five <laughs> ten yeah so you get about ten ten wafers in here and it's well worth about a 25 to me so i got six boxes of those that i'm going to be inserted in or use it for my gift baskets my food gift baskets i showed these last time i opened these up because i used some of my gift baskets for the um, movie time, the movie Christmas baskets. So these are nice to have in hand. I always show these. These are really nice. These are short bread cookies. These are kind of on on the same line as the Lord. I think they call Lord Dangs. I never knew how to pronounce it. Lord Dang cookies for short bread cookies and the yellow and green box that they sell in our, you know, grocery stores, which are amazing cookies. I love these cookies. So these are nice inserts for you know the gift basket you know, your, um, for any type of christmas gift basket don't have to be a full gift basket you can tuck these in with some socks you know candle hot chocolate you know whatever but my main purpose is to use it for my, my food basket and i showed the mrs fields guys these are another reason why i bought these because i want these to go into my food baskets you got the oatmeal raisin and you got the chocolate chip ones so these really kind of start showing up these two they may have them in the store off and on but when the holidays come they stock up on these things and so this is when you start looking for these type of items now guys i was in ross's ross I always put an s on everything ross's walmart's targets <laughs> i was at ross okay and they had these in here i mean in there they had these in their store. I don't know if you saw these or ever seen these. These are the first, first time I've ever seen the strawberry ones. Man, I bought these like during the summertime, guys. Hold on. Okay, this reminds me I got a clock out from work. Okay. Um, let me see. Um, I bought these from Ross. And these are the strawberry. Have you ever seen these before? The strawberry ones? I haven't. First time I've seen them. Sweet as I don't know what the ain't number sugar. But they good, they good. And so I bought these just to buy them, just to taste them. And I bought these during the summer, guys. And they just been sitting on my counter. But they're so sweet, you know. They're really, really sweet. These would be nice for Valentine's Day, I think. Summer or summer, summer type gift basket with a food basket. But I was thinking strawberry. I was thinking Valentine's Day too as well. If you ever see these, maybe you can pick these up for Valentine's Day. These would be really nice. They it has two bags. You know, just two with a silver cap on the inside. So we can have something to divide it and make it like that. Mm. So good. It's so sweet. So, uh, anyhow, these were really nice. I just thought I would show these because, you know, you can use these for Valentine's Day coming up. Excuse me, guys. If you see these in the store, if you see these in Ross or, or any other store, okay? Okay. That's 
tootie for you. Okay. All right. These I got yesterday. These are very lovely. For your gift baskets for the holiday. They have four for five dollars. So I picked these up yesterday at my local supermarket. So these are amazing. You can find these at Burlington. You know, they have usually, I usually look for these at Burlington because they have like these packs, maybe like uh, four for like five dollars as well. And so I just picked these up here. Oh, at our supermarket yesterday, I picked up um, four of these. They have, again, like four for five dollars. So these are, I'll be inserted inside my, my uh, gift baskets as well. And if you ever, if you never tried these, try these. These are amazing. These are really, really good, guys. These are really, really good, especially the chocolate chip one. And sometimes I would make a, I've made a banana, uh, a bread pudding with the chocolate one, with the bigger one. Really, really nice. And um, I got those yesterday at my local food market. Now, the fiddle battle, you know, these are nice too. You put inside your gift baskets, you know. If you want to do a food gift basket, I brought these for Dollar. Let me tell you something about Dollar Tree. Okay. First, fiddle battle. Fiddle Faddle, it's nice. I only bought one box because I was going to put this in tie, I think, inside one of these baskets over here for the movie time. I'm not sure. So, but I thought, I said, these are nice because I never used them before. I see them all the time, but I never picked them up. But I like the fact that the box is red and this is a nice treat for around the holidays. And you can insert these in some kind of way if you're doing a food basket or just doing something, you know, in particular where you need to have something nice. A snack, these are nice. As well. Um, this here, I had my fuck pile. Hold on a second, guys. Let me bring them up front. Hold on. Okay. All right. These I had in my stockpile, guys. And I actually used one of these. These, uh, I got these for 79 cents. These I, um, were from the uh, Walgreens um, that I ran out just looking for beginning of the year and um these and they actually taste really good now designer with nessa she was the one who said uh who commented when i had did a video um you know like last february or whenever i got these january february you know a lot of other people had gotten these as well um but i thank god i was able to find some because i really wanted this look at the packaging this is so nice and look it got the holiday ribbon on here so you can use this really for any kind of celebratory thing but this designer with nessa said she said they taste good too so i opened me up one i was like oh that's right they are good i agree these are really really nice and so i don't even know what the original price of these are but you know if you can find these look out for these at wall at walgreens if they have them in walgreens i think this is a couple years that i've seen um these on sale after the christmas holiday so i picked up uh, a few of these i got maybe like four or five upstairs well in my stockpile and i actually used one for my movie night my christmas movie thing basket that i'll be showing you guys in another video today and so these are nice you know for christmas you know for a gift basket right. these are cute i still have i think i have another one upstairs if i'm not mistaken but i bought like four or five of these last year for my local supermarket and we can find these at any of our supermarkets i believe i believe my, my supermarket is giant so this is what i this is where I got these from. These are Welch's um, sparkling white grape shoes, guys. They'll never, can never put no alcoholic beverages in, but these are um, nice for food baskets um, as well. And of course, and of course, our, our little Dollar Tree, you know, um, what is it? Apple cranberry and sparkling cider. You guys know at Dollar Tree that's no longer really a Dollar Tree. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Why, 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 why do you buy Dollar Tree? That's what, even when it turned to Dollar 25, why is it not called the Dollar 25 store? Which I can't believe. Why is it so called Dollar Tree? Because you ain't got nothing there for a dollar no more. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. But these are, um, these are what I had from last year, guys. So I had these in my stockpile from last year. And, um, let me just get the Dollar Tree real fast. I was in Dollar Tree yesterday, and I was like, looking at stuff, and I said, oh, they got so-and-so. 
why did I not pull my camera out? I have to put it like me. I don't know why. I said, oh, they got that for $1.25. Can't remember what it was I was looking at because I had just came down the aisle and everything said $1.25. And I said, oh, they got that for $1.25. As soon as I went to graduate, it had $4.75. I think it was either $4.75 or $25. It was $1.25. It was $4.75 or $4.25. And I looked at that. I said, now why did they got that? over here when i go down the store i'm gonna show you guys i said what in the world i said they, see i told y'all i told y'all early i think in the summer i said that that was true they're gonna they're gonna be trying to fool us they're gonna they're gonna be in the, the dollar 25 stuff is changing over stuff is changing over i did a video on that things is changing over they sticking stuff they putting new prices in there that stuff whatever i was looking at was a four dollars and 75 cents i said oh that's okay i was like i think i thought i was getting a deal you know <laughs> Here. And here it was four twenty-five, along with all the other stuff that was a dollar twenty-five. But as soon as you get down there, you're looking, and then you get your eye. And if you're not looking, see this. To me, what this strategy is, and what I said in that video is that when you pick it up and you ain't paying attention, you're like, oh, oh, this dollar twenty-five. And then you get it to the register, and it'd be like four seventy-five when you bill it up. He's like, what? What did I spend? Then they go back over the receipt and say, well, this was four seventy-five, and this is five, and, and you never know, it might be ten. Uh, but this is four seventy five. This five dollar. What? I thought that was a dollar twenty five. No, no, it's four seventy five. You be like, just give it to me. I don't, look, I really want that. See, they, come on, pay attention when you go down to it, because if you really want that thing, and you're standing there in line, you really want it. You gonna pay for it. You are gonna be like, just give it to me. It's only one thing. This is only one thing. You know. So it's like you know, there's they're stucking things in at the Dollar Tree. And you've got to be now. I, overall, I believe it's still going to be a Dollar Tree, but they so they need to take the sign down and stop putting Dollar Tree. Make put the dollar twenty dollar plus dollar plus store. That's what they need to put it because store got the whole store. The majority of the store is a dollar twenty five, but in time, that's still going to be so many different prices, you know. And, and you know they're slowly transitioning us into their. Their price, their prices, and we're gonna get used to it, and we're gonna go in there and buy this stuff. But for the meantime, whatever you find for dollar twenty-five, get it. Now, let me show you what I found in here. If you guys haven't seen it, there's these amazing books here. These are so cute. I thought I would get these for my my gift baskets. Uh, for my um my pamper. I don't know what I'm calling this. These these right here, these right here. I guess they're going to be called pamper something. I'm going to find a word to, to go along with pamper. But I'm calling them my pamper bag, women's pamper bags, you know, self-care, you know, bag. And they, these are like, you know, they have like little schedules on you. These are cute if you haven't seen them. These are cute. And got on here, spread your wings. Ain't they cute? Just a right back. Oh, sorry. A spiral, spiral bag. And I like how it's not this way, but it's, you know, it's long ways this way. So this is cute. So I went back and I picked up, you know, several of these here. And I um, cleared the shelf. <laughs> At least of these. So I bought me some of these. These are really, really cute. I love these. Okay. And I went back to get some more because I had only picked up two when I went to. So I was like, why didn't I pick up the rest of these? These are so cute. So I went and that's why I went out to Dollar Tree yesterday. So I passed them. And I saw these. I didn't pull. Same thing. These are, it says hello gorgeous. And these are just like little um daily planners, like a planner. Like, oh, it is. It's a it's a 2025 planner. Okay. So they had a lot of these. I didn't want to clear the shelves on these guys. I said, well, let me make sure I can use these, you know, before that's cute. Heart back, spiral back, and it's a planner. Okay, so really, really cute. Let me see what this back page looks like. Oh, okay. Yeah, really, really cute, guys. Love them. Love them. Okay. So I got that at Dollar Tree, guys. Now I'm going to show you some some stuff that I got from last year. That was, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at this. Guys, I thought I was buying this as, I thought this was, um, what do you call it? your uh craft paper i thought this was 
craft paper. Oh, that's cute. It's got the snowflakes on it and everything. Have you guys seen this? Have you guys seen it? But what it is, it's wrapping paper. How cute. It's three dollars. It's three dollars. It's cute. It's it's not terrible like like their regular wrapping paper. Never, buy, never unless I'm just in a bind. I do not buy Dollar Tree's gift wrapping paper tear on you in a minute as soon as you look at you look at it it tear up <laughs> it's like this paper tears so easily but you might be able to find some that you know depending on what it's made out of but i don't know that's the day 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 but this is cute but this is this is sturdy this is sturdy very nice this is three dollars and, and i thought this was really really cute guys and it's a large hole a very large wall if you haven't seen it i took the paper off and i don't know what they but it's it's, it's a really tall one. and i thought this was really, really cute guys so this was three dollars at dollar tree and i think it's worth the three dollars because you do get it you, you get, i think you get a lot for three dollars in here okay so i got that now all right maybe i'll mention this okay i'm gonna mention this with the other video now I was at Dollar. I was at Bath. I'm going to Bath and Body Works real fast, okay? I did a video on the Bath and Body Works, and I did show you guys that I was getting these here. These this smells. This smells good. Now my pamper baskets can be for any time, but I'm primarily focusing on pamper baskets um, for like next year, like next spring. And so I'm just gathering up some things. And I thought they had a 50% sale. I did do a video. You can catch that video here. And I just got three of these. I got three of these to go into some of my pamper baskets. And I'm going to tell you why. But these are cute. Really, really cute. They smell really, really nice. And so by the time spring come up here, I'm looking to have either the um, body the body bath, the, the shower gel, or the um, body lotion, either one of those. I want to put two of these items inside here. And what I want to do, guys, I love these. If you can catch us, and then I'm snagging, and then I'm banging myself upside the head because they had little small items that were like a dollar something, less than $2, and they were 60% off. And I said, why didn't you get some of the other stuff, Cindy? But what in the world? Why didn't you do that? But these are definitely, this was $3.58, I believe. So I can see them here. They were like $3.58 or $3.78, something like that. And they were 60% off at $8.95. So these were $8.95. I got them for like $3 and, you know, 58 cents, something like that. So these are nice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace these with what I already have in here. Which is these here, even though I love them, they're nice, they're beautiful, they're nice. But what I want to do, I mean, these are nice, these are nice, but I want something a little bit more. I don't want everything to look dollar. Okay, you guys can look at the video where I did these video where, where I did these pamper bags. It's not entitled pamper bags. I, I can't remember. I'll, what I'll do is I'll make, put the link in and it'll show you why me with these bags here. But I want to replace these. I want to replace these with this and a body lotion because I want it to be a little bit more upscale because I want the bag to not look, you know, not look cheap, but has some really, really nice things inside of here. And I think the Bath and Body Works is a good replacement for these. These right here, I would replace with, like if I was doing like a really big upscale basket and I just wanted to put something in that was really, really nice, I would go to my Dollar Tree because this is this this is not going to boost your, your, your sale price up for that particular basket. If you're doing, um, you know, something that's really, really you know, high end. I will put I will put these in here just to have something extra in that basket that looks nice, 
um, versus something that's really, really more costly, like something like Bath and Body Works, and then you already got an expensive basket. But these, to me, on my end, would work well inside one of those baskets. But this basket here that I'm doing, if this makes sense, I don't want to put something too low of a price in here because people are like, look, I've been Dollar Tree. I've seen those at Dollar Tree. And you want to pay, you want me to try $40 or something like that. So I want to put something in that's going to be a, like more expensive, a little bit more expensive and a little bit more uh, of a go-to that people probably would like a little bit more better in this basket, you know, versus this. I think people will be geared towards this. So I want to find a body lotion and boost the sale of this bag this bag up a little bit more with the bath and body works and with the um, eye mask and the self-care thing and so this is how i'm going to do this guys i'm showing this again because i wanted to show you the switcher route that i did with this and the reason why i did that even though i love these and i still may do maybe i'll do a lower end bag you know with these you know for those who you know need that to be in that price range so this is why I, I was happy to get these at Bath & Body Works. And then I'm going to get the other item for the, um, like a, a, uh, uh, the body lotion or the shower gel to go inside one of those. So it's going to be two items in there. So let me put these down. Switch a room. Back to Christmas. Okay. So my two baskets um, are going to be... I have gotten these baskets here. Let me tell you what I did, guys. When I was over here, I would have been done with my movie night baskets. I found myself going in, into the garage. I'm looking for my red snowflake ribbon that I had from last year. I came out that garage. Then come up with it. Let me tell you what I did. Now, while I was down there, I was looking for something else as well, but I went down there primarily for that red ribbon that had the snowflakes that I got. And I'm trying to think if I got that from Dollar Tree or if I got that from another store. But I wanted that for my movie, Christmas movie night baskets. Went down there on Monday. Cleaned my whole garage up. That wasn't my intention. I got down there and I was just pulling stuff out because I said, you know, I can't find nothing because everything is everywhere. I spent two hours down there Monday in the basket when I was supposed to, just supposed to be going down there to get the ribbon. I'm down there for two hours and pulled everything out the garage, swept it out, got stuff that needed to go out, stuff that's been in this house since I moved in here almost 15 years ago, paint with the uh, old people left in the in the garage, and it's just been sitting there and taking up space. I was going to, I went down there to get the ribbon. I went down there to get the ribbon. Still ain't came up with it. So, so I cleaned the garage out, yeah. But where the ribbon at? I never came back with the ribbon. So now I gotta go back down there and see what bag is in because I believe I have some more. And I also went down to get these baskets, guys. Now these baskets I got from Hobby Lobby, and they had I bought these what, like two years ago, I think. Two? I don't know. One, one, two years ago. I used some because I bought quite a few of these. And um, pulling these out and make these into a Christmas theme bag basket. And um, yeah, I'm going to um, use these for my, some of these are going to be used, or maybe all of them, I don't know. Will be used, excuse me, used for my um, Christmas, for my Christmas baskets. Okay, so I'm going to do these up, maybe, you know, with some fruit, you know, some want uh, the, the grape juice, you know, some panettone bread, uh, cake, some fruit, you know, one of these wines, you know, you know, something here, like something like that, you know, and um, I have candles that I can put in as well, you know, candles, you know, some fruit alongside of this and just make it Christmas like. So this is why I went down. They very really light though. They are so light. You can't put too many heavy things in here. Because the basket is like light as a feather. $14.99. Why would I? This basket I don't get because I would never pay $14.99 for this. I'm sorry. This basket is like, weighs like a piece of, it feels like a piece of paper. It's so light. But they want $14.99 for it. But I got, I paid a dollar forty for this because it was 90% off. So I did get them on sale at Hobby Lobby. 
um, after their Christmas, I'm sorry, after their um, Easter, Easter holiday. And so, yeah, so I, I'm going to be using these for my, um, my um, food theme Christmas baskets, guys. Let me show you what I got. Let me show you what I got. I got to go back to the, I don't know who told me in my channel i have to go back and i meant to have the name so i can thank them um if you if you know if that was you please you know just comment in the video because when i said i wanted some more of the of these baskets right here i went to hobby lobby one day last week because the person left they said oh they got it for $1.99 i said oh really i went down the next day they didn't have, they had other baskets, but they said, oh, they said, I know, I asked one of the workers in the store, I said, I'm looking for like these baskets. And they said, oh, no, we haven't really gotten them in just yet. Usually they come in a little bit later, but they had similar baskets. And I was like, man, I said, um, okay, all right. So that's when I did my Hobby Lobby move, uh, video. I have a video when I went to Hobby Lobby because I was actually down there for these for the final and so i did the video my hobby lobby video and then that same night i said you know what i went on hobby lobby i said i wonder do they got them i said I wonder do they got them on, in, online so i went online Ta -da! they was a dollar 99 online so i got five of these all right i got five more of these and i was so happy that the person had told me about them um and uh so i got five more of these these were a dollar they say they say three ninety nine, but they were on sale. That's right. Um, they was on sale for dollar ninety nine. So I got me some more of these buckets because I love them and I plan on doing more of these for the holidays. I'm not going to stress myself out, guys, about you know Christmas right now. I'm going to do the food baskets and the movie night baskets, and that's what I'm doing. Unless something else comes to me, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to do a variation of holiday. Food, food gift baskets and um, I have this I just want to note this out to you guys I found this when I was in my this is something I've worked with my daughter when she's a little girl I still had this in uh, my oldest daughter and um, so I you know just bought her some popcorn you know holiday popcorn and I thought this is so cute when we have when we see these if somebody give, even if somebody gives this to us um, they have these in the supermarkets you know for like um, let's see so I got the price on here. I don't know what the price on them for, but they like five, six dollars, four, five, six dollars, and you get the cheddar cheese, the the butter, and you get the caramel. Oh, I never signed out, guys. Let me hold on, hold on. Okay. Oh my God, I was I forgot to clock out before I even came onto the video. I have to get that squared away. Get my daughter something real fast for lunch. Um, I don't know what I was saying. I don't know what I was saying before I left off, guys. I don't know. I don't know what I was saying. I, th I think I was talking about the canister. That, excuse me. I think I was talking about this. These are cute. I'm just going to go back over just in case it was. What's this? This is just cute to have, you know, because you can use them as a gift. You know, you can use them as a gift. If somebody give you some popcorn, maybe if you're on a job or something like that. Or, you know, if you even see them in the store. These are nice gifts, guys, you know, for, you can put something on top, you know, a candle or something or a blanket, you know, a popcorn already on the inside of here, you know, you could put something and just make a gift out of that. I, I think I'm going to do that this year. That's a, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do one because these make nice gifts and it's a food gift as well. So I want to do that. Not with this one because this one's, when I opened up the top, I was like, oh, well, I can use this as a gift. But I said, no. But then it reminds me of my daughter, so I don't want to give it um, away. Um, but it was a little rusted on the inside because it's been in the, in the garage for years. And um, But that's just another thought, you know, on doing that. You can sit something right on top of the, the canister and just make it a big gift, put a big bowl on there. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to do one. Um, also, let me show you what I got last year from Hallmark, guys. We got a Hallmark store right around the corner, right up the road from us. And I never thought about it until I went into the Hallmarks last year. I showed these last year that I got, I have more, like, four of these. Four of these. Really, really cute, guys. And I, I see these in Dollar Tree. I don't know. I think these these are a little better than the Dollar Tree ones. But these were $19.99. 
Yeah, these were $19.99. If you can see it, $19.99. And I got these for, I think it was $2 and something cents. They weren't over $3. They were like $2. I think it was $2.50. They were $2.50. How cute. Are these going to look cute? And you can turn it on. I don't think, I think I have to pull the little tabby out. Do I have to pull the tabby out? I think you have to pull, yeah, you do. You have to pull the little tabby out in order for the battery to work. Aren't these cute? Now, these can go inside of a, I'm just saying, it can, it can go, it don't have to go in here, but it could be a gift that you could put in with some treats, you know, a little candle. These are cute. Now, you have to look out for sales, you know, because again, I wanted to get a car and I never thought about catching Hallmark after Christmas. And I won't be in there this Christmas, but I'm gonna see what they got on sale. No good. Wait a minute, what's that smell of it? This thing smells good. It smells like just like pine. It smells like um it smells like uh let me see. It smells like um this candle, what is it called? It's called. It smells like the Christmas trees. That's what it smells like. It just smells like the Christmas pine, pine. You know the. You know, it smells like the greenery on Christmas trees. It smells just like Christmas. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, but anyway, I don't know why it smells like this. Oh, I can smell it on the inside of here. So this must be, it must have a scent on the inside. But these is what I bought for $2.50, guys. And I'm going to give these as gifts either outside of the box and just sit them maybe down or something. I got all these ideas. I always tell my what I want to do. I hope I do it this year because these are really, really cute. And you can do them from any year, you know. I got four of these. Or you can just gift them inside the, you know, inside as a gift. You can give them as a gift. I don't think these are the ones that I've seen um, at Dollar Tree. I think these are a little bit different. Or you can give them just like this inside of a box. Okay, so these were nice. I got four of these. And they, again, they were $19.99. And I got them for $2.50 from Hallmark. So I'll be visiting Hallmark's after Christmas to see what else they got over there. And they, after, um, because I only go in there for gift cards and things like that. I'm sorry, not gift cards, but cards and, um, you know, something in that area. Now, I showed you guys these. These are amazing. I got from um, Walmart last year. These, I finally got these. I don't know what I paid for these guys. I don't remember what I paid. I don't know if it was $3, $2 in some sense. But this one is called um, Snowball Shortbread Cookie. And this one is um, the Spice Christmas Bomb. So these were really cute guys. And I, I went, I was hunting around at the last minute looking for a lot of these at, um, at a Walmart last year because I didn't notice them until they were almost gone. And I did find a big bunch of those. Um, and, you know, it's nice. You can put, you know, your candles inside of these food baskets. You know, the, um, this is warm apple pie. And I got a lot of these. These were on sale for a few dollars after Christmas at Walmart. This one I did a video on. I was like, hold on, y'all that ten dollars and forty-seven cents up there, and it was at we it was after Christmas, and I said, you know, so I took it to the um to the register, and they said no, it's not ten forty-seven, it's like two dollars and something cents. So I just picked it up because I said I don't know, just because of this, and it was after Christmas. It wasn't Christmas no more, and I said, give me that. It's not ten dollars and forty-seven cents though. And guys, I also wore these last year. These are cute. I got these for like 25 cents, I believe. I think these were like 25 cents. I bought a bunch of these and they got the Christmas trees on here. So you can use them as, you know, you know, you could put some, you know, you could make some individual gifts and wrap them up and put some things in there. I do, um, I, I was reminded of this from LBE channel because I know she do things with these things like that. And I just thought it was nice because of the Christmas trees on here. So I got some of those. And these I got also. These are the plates. 
you know, um, I got these for 25 cents, I believe, as well. So I stocked up on these. Don't know what I'm going to do quite with them yet, but you can use these as food trays. You can just put some food on here, you know, dress it up, you know, put a little cute, little, well, as a flat gift, maybe a flat or a standing up gift. But as a flat gift, you know, you can bring it together, put a bow on there and just have your food on there. Whatever way, whatever you want to do with it, you know, you know, just let your imagination, your creativity flow with it. And I think this is the end of the video, guys. This is the end of my video because I'm always leaving stuff out. Let me see. I think I'm going to show this in my next video. Um, I'm hoping that I get to the next video today, guys, because I got a lot to do now. I spent almost an hour. It's an hour. Guys, I hope you're still on there. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be so long, guys. I didn't, yeah, that's it. I didn't mean to be so long, guys. I'm going to jump off this video right now been long enough all right guys have an amazing day i want to either do this video today or tomorrow finally with the christmas theme um, i wanted to do it today guys and i got held up and i'm gonna tell you why in the next video because something I, okay i'm gonna say it. to the next video guys be blessed